All right, scholars, we are back and we are still talking about weathering erosion and deposition and the story that the earth is telling us. Yes, there are many, many stories that the earth has to tell and many of them come back to this word called landforms. We've been talking about landforms. The landform that we have mentioned over and over and over again is a canyon. And we know that the canyon has an absolutely amazing story. If you've ever been to the Grand Canyon, you would know that the story is so spectacular that people travel from all over the world to look at the story that the earth has told in the Grand Canyon. If you've never been, you have to go. It's definitely on my bucket list of things to do. But there's landforms everywhere. And today we're going to be talking about some landforms that are created by wind erosion. I have a little makeshift desert here, but this looks different than a normal desert because if we look at a picture of a normal desert like that, we're going to notice that it's not as flat as what you see in my picture. See, mine is really, really flat. This has got big, big heels and we're curious as to how did that happen? Like, what is the story behind those gigantic hills of sand that we call sand dunes. How did they get created? Well, I'm so glad that you asked because today we will be showing and evidencing the effects of wind erosion. Yes, wind erosion. Now for this, it's very important that we have something to cover our eyes. We've got my gigantic glasses on. And what happens is the desert is not flat like this. We already know that we've been talking, but one of the things that we know is that the wind is constantly blowing. Have you ever seen one of those movies where there's this gigantic sandstorm and this huge wall of sand is coming and it's blowing, right? Well, the desert has lots of wind erosion. Wind is constantly carrying and moving sediments and it creates all kinds of different landforms. Take this for example right here. This is a landform that we're going to model as a desert arc. Now, there's rocks that are out in the desert, right? And the wind is constantly beating against these. And when it hits them, it's chipping away at some of the, the sediments on the, it's chipping away at the rock, just like we taught, it's weathering the rock. It's weathering the rock. It's constantly weathering the rock. And sometimes it'll start to hit away at the center of that rock, and it will literally create this arc that you can see. It's really, really cool. And so it'll be a big rock with a big center part that's out of it. And we actually call that a desert arc. The desert arc has a story. It is created whenever wind weathers and erodes sediments off of rocks, carving it into the shape of a desert arc. But that's not the only landform that's out there. It's so cool. I'm telling you, everything has a story. The story of this desert arc involves lots of time and tiny pieces being broken away and carried and the inside of it being carved out so that when we look at it, we see this really awesome picture of this really awesome landform that we call a desert arc. And every landform has a name. Today, we're going to look at another landform that is created by wind erosion. Now, when the land might seem flat in the desert, we're actually going to blow on it and we're going to observe what happens to the sediments when the wind begins to blow on the sediments. And we're also going to observe, I can often rub this across there, we're going to observe what happens to the, the formation of the land. What happens to, right now it looks smooth and flat and straight, but what's going to happen to it whenever this wind erosion occurs. I want you to describe it in words. I want you to describe it in detail. I want you to describe it as if you are telling the story of a sand dune because that's what you are doing. You are literally telling the story of how different landforms get created. And right now I need you to describe in grave detail the story of how a sand dune is created because this is exactly what happens. First, you have a surface. Second, you have soil specifically sandy soil, and third, you're going to have wind that is going to erode. Are we ready? Erosion in five, erosion in four, erosion in three, erosion in two, erosion in one. Here we go.
All right. Wow. Okay, I'm going to move this in so we can see it a little bit better. Maybe even do a little tilt there. I don't know if it's as visible as it is for you, but from my perspective, I can literally see how this thing has created little hills and little valleys and little hills. There's areas that are up and down and up and down and up and down. And the crazy thing is, is had I kept eroding long enough, this sand would have kept depositing and it would have kept depositing and it would have kept depositing and it would have created these giant mounds of, mounds of sand. And we call those sand dunes. That's how sand dunes are created. It's created via wind erosion over an elongated period of time. And really cool thing is the desert erodes sand at such a rapid rate, it can build these sand dunes in no time at all. And that is the story of a sand dune. Was your story sound like my story? Does your story sound like my story? Because it is so cool. And this is something very, very simple that you can do. Just make sure that you have protective eyewear on. All you need is a straw, all you need is some sandy soil and a container to contain it in, and you can literally come here with the protective eyewear and blow on it and observe how the sediments are moved, and when they're moved, they're lifted up, but then they're dropped back down. They're lifted up, and then they're dropped back down. They're lifted up, and then they're dropped back down, and so forth and so on. And if you notice, if that process continues, our sand dunes start to get very, very big. Really, really cool. I grew up in Mon I grew up in Midland, Texas, actually. And in Midland, there's a place called Monahans, and they have sand dunes that these things are so big that you can actually go out there with a board like you're surfing and you can slide down the sand dune. This is exactly what's happening in Monahans, Texas, right now. The mounds are building, the mounds are building, the mounds are building, the mounds are building, and little children can go out there with their boards, climb to the very top, and it's so big, you can slide down them like you're sliding down a skiing down a mountain or something like that. It's so cool. It is so cool. If you've never been to Monahans, go to the sand dunes. It's a really, really cheap experience, but it's an awesome place to see sand dunes, sand being eroded, science happening, and have a lot of fun. Just make sure that you wear something on your feet because the sand gets really, really hot in the summertime. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Today, we talked about two landforms, actually. We talked about the story of a desert arc, and we talked about the story of a sand dune. And both of these landforms are created in desert environments by wind, weathering, uh, wind, erosion, and weathering. Have an absolutely wonderful day, and we will be back on soon with more amazing science. Now, here's what I would like you to do. I'd like you to take these two landforms and see if you can retell the story. Can you retell the story of how a desert art and how a sand dune is created and make sure you use academic vocabulary such as weathering, erosion, and the names of the landform. This one is a desert arc, this one is a sand dune. Use academic vocabulary such as weathering, erosion, and deposition and the names of the landforms. Scholars, have an absolutely wonderful day. We will be back on soon with more amazing science. Talk to y'all soon.